In physics, oscillation refers to the repetitive or periodic variation, typically in time, of some measure about a central value often a point of equilibrium or between two or more different states. Oscillation is defined as the process of repeating variations of any quantity or measure about its equilibrium value in time. Objects that show motion around an equilibrium point are known as oscillators. Examples of oscillation include the tides in the sea, the movement of a simple pendulum in a clock, and the vibration of strings in guitars and other string instruments. The height or the maximum distance that the oscillation takes place is called the amplitude, and the time taken to complete one complete cycle is called the time period of the oscillation. Frequency is the number of complete cycles that occur in a second. Frequency is the reciprocal of the time period. Oscillations occur not only in mechanical systems, but also in dynamic systems in virtually every area of science. The simplest mechanical oscillating system is a weight attached to a linear spring subject to only weight and tension. The systems where the restoring force on a body is directly proportional to its displacement, such as the dynamics of the spring mass system, are described mathematically by the simple harmonic oscillator and the regular periodic motion is known as simple harmonic motion. Types of motions As the object that oscillates is in motion, let us have a look at what are the different types of motions in oscillations. There are primarily three types of motions that are 1. Periodic motion A motion that repeats itself periodically. For example, the hands of the clock. 2. Oscillatory motion A motion which goes to and from and back instead of full motion. For example, the clock's pendulum. 3. Simple harmonic motion eschem. It is the type of motion in which the particle oscillates back and forth in a straight line only. For example, bungee jumping. Let's discuss about system oscillation response types. Ambient oscillation response. Ambient oscillations are the system's response to small random disturbances. They are typically caused by electrical loads, which are randomly varying by nature. Ambient-based oscillation modes extraction is an effective means of monitoring the small signal stability of a power system online. Transient oscillation response. Transient oscillations are the system's temporary response that will die out with time. They are not necessarily tied to abrupt events, but to any event that affects the equilibrium of the system. The response can be classified as underdamped, critically damped, or overdamped. Oscillation is an effect caused by a transient stimulus to an underdamped circuit or system. It is a transient event preceding the final steady state following a sudden change of a circuit or startup. Natural Oscillation Response Natural oscillations are the system's natural response to transient events and small signal random disturbances. They are determined by the frequency and damping ratio of system modes and a function of overall system dynamics. The natural response of an LC circuit is described by a homogeneous second-order differential equation, and the solution for the current is a function of the natural frequency of the LC circuit and the starting voltage on the capacitor. Forced oscillation response Forced oscillations are the system's response to a forced periodic disturbance, such as a cyclic load or malfunctioning control valve. The forced response response of the system is given by the transfer function of the system from the input location to the measurement location. It is determined by the frequency of the forced input. Forced oscillations reflect the characteristics of a periodic input to the system. Oscillation types by damping. Poorly damped oscillation. A poorly damped oscillation is a transient response of relatively long duration, that is, a transient response that requires a long time to return to ambient response conditions. A damping ratio of 3% has commonly been cited as a threshold for a poorly damped oscillation in power systems, though no specific standard threshold currently exists. Next slide are three single-mode simulated natural oscillations with varying damping 10% is considered high damping while 1% is very poorly damped. Undamped or sustained oscillation. 
An undamped or sustained oscillation is a natural or forced response that exhibits a persistent presence of oscillation with zero damping. Examples include forced oscillations, as well as undamped natural oscillations, or stable limit cycles related to nonlinear dynamics. Undamped natural oscillations should not be confused with undamped forced oscillations. Growing oscillations A negatively damped oscillatory response with growing amplitude of oscillations, typically caused by an unstable oscillatory mode, malfunctioning apparatus, incorrect control designs, or adverse interactions within the power system. They usually lead to tripping of components such as generators and transmission lines. Synch Synchrophosaur technology is the best to find power system oscillation. Synchrophosaurs are time-synchronized electrical measurements that represent both the magnitude and phase angle of the electrical sinusoids. They are measured by fast time-stamped devices called phaser measurement units PMUs. PMUs are 100 times faster than traditional supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA systems. Synchrophosaurs constitute the basis of real-time monitoring and control actions in the electric grid. They provide enhanced situational awareness capabilities and have many applications in power systems. Applications include wide-area situational awareness and monitoring, state estimation, fault location and protective relaying, islanding detection, etc. The technology helps to monitor power system parameters such as frequency, phase angle, and amplitude to ensure those system parameters are always within the limits. It is an effective means of monitoring the small signal stability of a power system online. The technology is particularly useful for observing power system dynamic phenomena and for real-time control of the power system. It is also used to prevent wide-scale cascading outages. Technology is still evolving and there are existing challenges in its implementation and potential applications. One can see an example of oscillation detection. Detected sustained power oscillations coming from a wind power plant when power output reached about 90% of plant capacity, dispatcher worked with plant owner and wind turbine manufacturer to fix the problem. Let's see oscillation real-time examples. As an example, Growing oscillations were a contributing factor that led to the August 10, 1996 WECC blackout. Growing oscillations over a wide area are rare but can have significant reliability implications when present. Below are three single-mode simulated natural oscillations with varying levels of negative damping. Damping. Here is a summary of the August 10, 1996 breakup of the Western Power Interconnection. On August 10, 1996, progressive weakening of the Western interconnection led to a cascading power outage. The system broke into four disconnected islands and affected some 7.5 million customers. The blackout was an important event, with major implications for the management of large power systems. The outage affected customers in seven Western U.S. states, two Canadian provinces, and Baja California, Mexico. Approximately 7.5 million customers lost power for periods ranging from several minutes to six hours. The outage stretched from Canada to New Mexico and knocked out power to 4 million customers amid a triple-digit heat wave. High load and demand coupled with inadequate tree trimming practices, improper system operation, and out-of-service equipment contributed to the severity of the disturbance. The blackout raised concerns about recent debates about deregulating electricity utilities. System Operator Action If a single PMU alarms, the basic process is for the system operator to contact the local operator or field staff at the specific location where the alarm is coming from. The local operator then investigates the event, since it is most likely a local equipment issue and may require reduction of power at that location. If multiple PMUs detect an oscillation, it is considered a wide area oscillation, and a conference with the reliability coordinator may be required to diagnose the cause, locate the source and develop a course of actions. System operators, operators will take more proactive steps in addressing the alarms. 
This can include inserting series capacitors, insert transmission lines that are out of service for voltage control, move generation to help increase system inertia, and curtail schedules depending on the location and severity of the oscillation event. On July 2, 1996, a large-scale power outage occurred in the Western Interconnection. It started with a loss of two 345 kV transmission lines from Wyoming to Idaho. Thermal overloads cascaded into lower voltage lines, which resulted in voltage collapse in the Boise, Idaho area. But the disturbance did not stop there. Voltage collapse propagated into southern Oregon and caused fast voltage decline on the California-Oregon AC intertie, COI, as shown. Line protection opened three COI lines, resulting in uncontrolled system breakup and loss of load and generation. Total of 2 million customers were affected, and 11,850 megawatts of power interrupted. On August 10, 1996, another large-scale power outage occurred in the Western Interconnection. The Interconnection broke into four islands, interrupting service to 7.5 million customers mainly in California and the Southwest. The sequence of events was initiated by the loss of a Keeler Alston 500 KV line near Portland, Oregon. A delayed cleared fault in Arizona caused generation loss in excess of 4,000 megawatts, which in turns drove system frequency down to 59.5 Hz and created large power swing in voltage drop at California-Oregon intertie. Once the system settled, BPA operators were presented with a dilemma. Dilemma. System frequency was abnormally low at 59.75 Hz, while COI power flows were significantly above its system operating limit. Frequency Response Analysis Power System Grid Operation Using Synchrophosaur Technology Event Detection Utilities runs the frequency event detection application in real time, data are used by the algorithm. The application takes a derivative of voltage phasor angles to calculate bus frequency. Although PMUs report bus frequency, there is a difference between frequency filtering algorithms used by various PMUs. An onset of frequency deviation is detected by magnitude of frequency deviation and its rate of change. The application uses rate of frequency change to locate the source of frequency disturbance, as the bus frequency will decline the fastest closer to the event location. Notification The application sends out a notification of the event occurrence as well as information about the magnitude of frequency deviation and PMU which had the fastest rate of change of frequency. Visualization Technical staff has access to visualization displays similar to ones used by dispatchers in the control room. An overview display shows map with zoom. The size of the dot corresponds to rate of frequency change at that PMU location. In this case, it is evident that a frequency disturbance originated in Arizona. Technical staff can also pull out 90S plots of system frequency during the event, as well as power flows on California-Oregon Intertie, Northern Intertie, and Montana Intertie. Data Extract Several applications to extract data from its OSI Soft PI servers. One of the advantages of OSI Soft PI architecture is that an application can simultaneously access both SCADA and PMU PI historians. Utilities uses high-resolution measurement of bus frequencies, voltages, phasor angles, intertie flows, and generation from PMU historian, and two's AGC quantity quantities from its SCADA historian. SCADA data are time synchronized at control center, so that there is a time lag between PMU and SCADA measurements, in our experience at least SCADA scan rate of 2S. The data extract applications can time shift SCADA quantities for better alignment with synchrophosaur measurements. Analysis Utilities uses the Frequency Response Analysis tool FRAT for its Frequency Response Analysis. FRAT is an interactive application to perform frequency response analysis methodology. Baselining The FRAT database has an extensive system event log going back to 2008. 
This log creates the opportunity to evaluate frequency response trends over many years. Trending frequency response is important for tracking the impact of the changing generation resource mix has on the frequency response. Similar plots can be made. Such analysis is very helpful for utilities to understand its inventory of frequency responsive reserves and factors affecting its performance. Utilities can perform correlation analysis between observed frequency response and generation resource mix hydro, wind, etc. Many utilities there is a strong correlation between available hydro generation capacity and its frequency response performance. Generating fleet performance analysis. Utilities developed a MATLAB application for analysis of generator performance during a frequency disturbance event. An application plots observed versus expected range of generator responses. The application is very useful in identifying generator response abnormalities. Example below shows examples of good and questionable responses to the event. The red lines represent the expected range of the governor response, and the blue lines represent the observed generator response. Power pickup analysis. Frequency response is not only about arresting system frequency decline and recovery following a resource loss. Governor response to frequency deviation can increase power flows on transmission system and thereby create voltage stability risks. This is particularly relevant to California Oregon intertie which can be post-transient voltage stability limited by generation outages in California and desert southwest. BPA has been baselining governor pickup on California Oregon intertie since late 1990s to make sure that actual pickup is accurately represented in power system studies.